Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to normalize data by using Power Query in Microsoft Excel 365. So you can follow the same steps if you are a user for Power BI and you want to normalize data in Power BI using Power Query. So the interface remains the same. Let's get started. We have a data and uh, this data contains certain columns like categories. So the first category is home appliances, second is furniture. Then we have dates, items, so there are multiple items uh, with a delimiter of comma. Then we have the companies and then note. And we need to normalize this data in such a way that each of the items should contain in a separate row, should be have in a separate row. Okay? And the solution will be look like this. So this is the solution. So this is the normalized data we need uh, by using the Power Query. You can use Excel dynamic array functions if you have a command over uh, using them. Uh, I will tell you how to do Power Query in a very simplified step. Okay. So the first step is to select the entire this data and convert into a table format. So for doing that, we will go to Insert tab and click on Table and click OK. So once you converted your data into a table format, you can see there is no merge and center now in your data, right? Okay, so we will go to the data tab and we will click from table or range that will open up a Power Query Editor window where we will do all transformations. Now as an Excel user and if you know the Power Query, you know that every step we do in Power Query that uh, automates the step as well. So in future, if our data gets increased, that will give you an advantage. Uh, right. So in the first column that is for categories, we will use fill down option. So that is available in the transform tab. We will click on fill and fill down. Okay. Then next is date column. We just need a date, correct format for the date. Okay. Then in the note column, we have the blank cells, which we want to fill by null first, and then we will fill down. So for doing that, we will go to transform tab replace values click on replace values that will open up a window so value to find will remain blank and replace with null okay and then click ok all right now we can do the fill down technique on this particular column right now what we want is to basically to do is we want to normalize this data based on the items okay so I will right click on this items column and I will go to split column by delimiter. Okay, so we know that the common delimiter is the comma, each occurrence of the delimiter and we will click on advanced options. So we will click on advanced options and we will say that split into rows. Okay, and then click OK. So that's it. We have normalized the data. Let's load this on our Excel workbook. So we'll click on click close and load to an existing worksheet. We want to keep it here. All right. Click OK. All right. So we have that normalized data as you can see here. Right. So 